I have my shadows blocked in. It doesn't look like much right now. And I still have that lost feeling. But I do know that this topper area is darker. There's a nice big splash of dark shadow in there. And there's this brown shadow that just falls through here. And what is coming, it almost looks like it's raining in the, in the picture. This gorgeous, vibrant green. And I want to make sure that underneath the vibrant green, I'm going to find a little bit of that, those other shadows. So I'm just sort of blending a little bit, just so I get the colors mixing naturally. Even here on my nice blue white. You won't see a lot of these marks in the finished painting, but you might you will see a few and that will give some depth. And I'm just using a fan brush just to spread and blend without changing where my dark and my light areas are located. Since the whole painting is a direct shot of the pond itself. It is really important to block these areas in so you can distinguish what's happening. Just while I'm using the fan wash, I'm just going to take some of this extra vibrant green and just thickly lay it in some of these areas that I know. Really gonna be a dominant feature. down here as well and start to come just beautifully on this water. It's sweeping back and forth and up and down in a crisscross motion helps to create that texture of water. You can see that right there. start working on some of the detail that's going to bring this to life. 